Hello, I am Munir Hawk and you are watching Android App Development Tutorial in Kotlin and this is the third part video of our simple uh, quiz app development and in this tutorial I will show how to add fragment and navigation. So first thing first I need to we need to add uh, dependencies for fragment and navigation. So I will uh, copy it and paste it in the builded cradle inside the builded cradle so and uh, i have uh, put the uh, dependencies in the video description please uh, copy paste from here and i will also do another thing uh, because we are using circular image what is which is a third party library i will just copy it and paste it here okay now we will uh, pressing now uh, i have forgotten one thing i need to uh, uh, add the data binding here so adding the data binding data binding uh, enabled equal to and again press the sync now well while syncing i will add the uh, fragment here and there's a fragment I will add the fragment here so this is fragment fragment and it will be match parent and height also be match parent and I will uh, give a ID name ID so ID will be nav sorry host fragment simply host fragment id host fragment host fragment okay so this is the uh, this is the fragment and all the this is the fragment host in inside the uh, main activity and all those fragments will uh, get transacting here so before proceeding from here, I would like to show you our finished product. This is our finished product and this thing we will going to build and this is the first fragment and this is the uh, first fragment which is the title fragment. We already have the essential uh, layout file for this, uh, for this fragment and clicking here will create another fragment which is quiz game fragment we already we also have the xml file so now one thing we need to do we need to uh, create fragments from here so to create fragment we will go to the java section and the package and right click here and select new select new and right here the fragment here the fragment blank and name we will give a name first we will create the title fragment and we as we already have the xml layout file so we will don't we will not create any xml uh, file here so unboxing unchecking it we will also uncheck these two fields here and press the finish now the this is the title fragment class and we need to make a little make a little change uh, like we will add data binding here so let init sorry sorry let init var binding and which will be the part of which will be the type of this fragment title so fragment title binding by the way if you don't know how data binding works i have a full video list on data binding please watch this and if you really don't care you can also learn data binding from here no big deal okay now we will uh, close here return statement we do not need this and we now we will initialize the binding here 
so binding equals data binding util dot inflate we need to inflate this uh, fragment underscore title so first we need the inflator here so inflator and r dot layout dot fragment title and we need to put the parent so here the parent is container this is the this is the parent group view group container and we do not want to attach the view to the view hierarchy so it will be false and finally we will return the root of the binding so return binding dot root so far so good okay we have finished to uh, finished adding the title fragment now we will add the quiz game fragment so again we will go here and right click and press select new and fragment and fragment black so it will be quiz game fragment okay quiz game fragment and again we will uncheck all this and press finish and again we will we can just simply copy paste from here mm, here because these are same thing so and this time the type will be fragment quiz game data binding so fragment quiz game binding so fragment quiz game binding okay and we and we will also do the same thing we did earlier did to here title fragment just copy paste here copy here and paste there is uh, extra there is there is extra curly braces we delete it and this time this will be the layout will be this the layout will be fragment quiz game so r dot layout dot fragment quiz game okay now we need to tell our activity and the fragment host to actually uh, taking place those fragment inside the fragment host how can i do it we can do this using the navigation so we need to add a navigation graph so we go to the race and right click here and select new and select android research directory so it's taking some time okay so uh, we'll select a resource type as navigation and directory name we keep it navigation and click ok and here is the directory has been created and we will add a navigation graph here new navigation resource file and name it app underscore navigation okay so this is the actually uh, navigation design or uh, na uh, navigation design file and this is the textual textual presentation so we go to we select the uh, design tab and here right here like a plus um, remark we can see a plus mark and here we will add here we can see the quiz game fragment and title fragment we just created so first we will add the title fragment and after just after uh, adding the title fragment we can see a little home like icon here navigation take one fragment as a start starting point so in our case 
the title fragment is our starting point and we need to do one more thing we will go back to our main activity.xml file and here we will uh, add the navigation the app navigation as nav host fragment so in order to do that we need to add some couple of lines like uh, we need to add the name the name would be uh, name would be android x android x dot navigation dot fragment fragment sorry frag Meant dot nav host fragment nav host fragment okay and we need to tell that we need to tell our uh, fragment that this is uh, the navigation that the path of this the path of this file the path of the navigation so app nav graph nav graph will be the uh, navigation part of the navigation so it will be app navigation okay and we need to do one more thing the default nav host equals to so app default nav host equals two okay so if we run the app and see what happens uh, it will um, we can expect that uh, inside the nav fragment the uh, the title the title fragment will take place so we place uh, we uh, place the run the app run has been completed and we go to the emulator and see we can see the first fragment has been has has been taken its place and clicking play actually doesn't take us to anywhere so we will add this functionality uh, here uh, so uh, if i if we if i uh, place the play here and it will take us to the quiz fragment so for in account to do that we need to add fragment in navigation graph the quiz fragment the quiz fragment we will add so we have add the quiz fragment now we will tell the navigation graph that from title fragment go to the quiz fragment so we just click here drag the line and take it to the quiz fragment so a uh, uh, a action is created it is a good idea to uh, clean the project uh, after changing anything in the navigation graph so uh, we we'll go to the build and clean project and actually this is not enough so action alone doesn't take us to the title fragment to uh, quiz fragment we need to uh, if we go to the title fragment xml file title fragment xml file and we, we, we need to add some action uh, we need to tell the action inside the set click listener method of uh, play button so we go to the title fragment and before returning we will add this so binding binding dot we can add the fragment title the this is the this is the button this is the button button playing so binding dot button play dot set on click listener on click listener and here we add the navigation navigation dot find nav controller find nav controller and we will this will need a view type and in our case this it will be the it is the view type so it dot 
navigate and for navigation we need to tell the action we need to tell we need to sorry we need to tell this action we need to tell this action okay okay so it will be r dot id dot action title fragment to quiz fragment okay okay so we give a build so we can see from our application from our emulator uh, pressing the play button it will go to the quiz button quiz fragment so pressing so our navigation graph is working so in this tutorial we have learned two things and uh, that adding fragments and how to use a navigation graph so uh, this is the this this is all about this tutorial so in next tutorial we will add some game logic so that we can add we can see some questions here and shuffle those question in this quiz fragment till then thank you